So let's go over that mechanism one more time with dopamine. So obviously, dopamine is a neurotransmitter, and when we're chronically stressed, physical, chemical, or emotional, dopamine can go downstream and get converted into adrenaline, which kind of helps manage the acute stress response. Is it just the fact that the mold is inflammatory and creating a stress response and activating the sympathetic nervous system that the dopamine is being taken and depleted downstream or is there something else? I want to make sure I get that mechanism hammered down. I don't know. Type in, uh, type in rat dopamine mold or rat dopamine mycotoxin. See if you can find it. There were several papers on this. I don't know if they discussed the mechanism in it or not. My assumption would be that it's multifactorial. I think the big mechanism would be that the mycotoxins affecting the gut barrier, then affecting nutrient absorption, and then there's likely less amino acid conversion to dopamine. So I'm thinking it's more of a malabsorption problem. But also we know that ochratoxin, for example, damages like, like, the brain. Like malabsorption, like it's affecting um, affecting the absorption of protein in the gut? Yeah, I, I think that's one mechanism. I think the other mechanism would be direct brain damage. We know that ochratoxin, for example, damages the cerebellum. We know that the verucarin and the stachybotrys mycotoxins affect the brain and the prefrontal cortex, which impairs like your ability to think clearly. So. I think it's both. I think it's the gut damage, and I think it's the direct brain damage, too. Mm, I'm going to pull it up here now. Can you see it on screen? Right. Yep. Let me make it bigger on my side here. Yeah, so many mycotoxins, trichothecenes. We test that in some of the, the mycotoxin tests. Yeah, induced neuronal cell apoptosis. So some of that could be you're just causing the cells in the brain and especially the substantia nigra of the midbrain. That's where dopamine cells are being produced. Some of it could be apoptosis. That means programmed cell death and or inflammation in the olfactory epithelium. In Isn't interesting. So it seems to be a neurodegenerative. And then look, it says it ochratoxin A causes acute depletion of dopamine and its metabolites. Look at that. So I wonder if that's a, a it sounds like it's, possibly a stress response, right? Because mm -hmm. dopamine can tend to go downstream to adrenaline. Could be a almost like an autoimmune response because you're you're having apoptosis. This is neuronal cell death, program death. This is part of the reason why apoptosis is important, right? Because if you don't have good immune immune function, this is how cancer forms, right? Your immune system helps program cells to die when they need to die. This is apoptosis. But if you can't do that, then cells can overgrow. Hence, you have a tumor. Right. And so and this is actually happening to unhealthy or to very healthy tissue that you need to be functionally healthy that produce the dopamine in the midbrain. Yeah. So look at very that interesting. Talking about the hippocampus, too. We know the hippocampus. Memory. I've got two of them. Memory. Um, That's why a lot of people have uh, brain fog problems. And also, I would say that short term to long term conversion is, yep. is, is impaired. Can you see this one here? The mold inhalation one? Uh, I'm just seeing switch. that you're highlighted on the hippocampus word for now. Let me.